This video reviews the concepts of velocity and acceleration and solving using their equations. This is the exit activity from class. First problem asks, a student practicing for a track meet ran 250 meters in 30 seconds. What was her average speed? As we described in class, speed and velocity for all intents and purposes are the same. So we're going to use velocity and using our rate equation, distance over time as our equation. Put our values in for distance, which is 250 meters, and our value for time, which is 30 seconds. Entering into our calculator, 250 meters divided by 30 seconds, it's 8.33 meters per second. That's the answer. Problem two is a bit more complicated. Number two says a student running in a track meet started a run by reaching 200 meters in 30 seconds. She then ran 300 meters in 30 seconds. What was her acceleration? We know that acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity all over time. But we also have a problem because we don't have velocities written in here, so we need to find velocities. And velocity is going to be distance over time. The final velocity by the runner was when she was moving from 300 meters in 30 seconds. And the initial velocity was when she was moving 200 meters in 30 seconds. Entering those values into the calculator, 300 divided by 30 is going to be 10 meters per second. And 200 divided by 30 is going to be 6.67 meters per second. We now have the values that we need in order to complete the other part of the equation, which is finding the acceleration. The final velocity was 10 meters per second, and the initial velocity was 6.67 meters per second, all over time it took for it to make that change 30 seconds. When we enter that into the calculator, we get a positive acceleration of 11 hundredths of a meter per second squared. Problem 3 can be solved different ways. First thing is we know that we can use the velocity equation v equals d over t. Says, how fast was a plane flying if it traveled 400 kilometers in 30 minutes? We can figure out 400 kilometers. In time, it can change to a half hour, 0.5 hours. We know that we take 400 and we divide it by 0.5, we'll end up with 800 kilometers per hour. Another way students can also solve this is if we take 400 kilometers and we leave 30 minutes in. We can then calculate for minute, uh, uh, kilometers per hour. The correct answer there is 13.33 kilometers per minute. Both of these are correct because we're looking at units, showing us different ways that we can solve for different units. The final problem asks a driver starts his parked car and within 5 seconds reaches a velocity of 54 km per hour as he travels the east. What is his acceleration? First problem here is that we have units of kilometers per hour in 5 seconds. The easiest way is to change 54 kilometers per hour and change that into kilometer, uh, meters per second. Fifty-four kilometers over one hour, and we one we know that there are one thousand meters to one kilometer, and we know in one hour that there are three thousand six hundred seconds. Enter that into the and learn that fifty-four kilometers per hour is equal to fifteen meters per second. Applying that to our equation acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. We can then take our final velocity is 15 meters per second. We start it at zero because he was not moving. And we have it, him accelerating over five seconds. 
essentially we're taking 15 divided by 5, so we end up with 3 meters over seconds squared as the final answer.